Uh, I mean, it definitely gave us some momentum um, through the second half. Uh, and you have to respect the show for making those decisions. Um, to we're out there and playing the game and playing the win. Uh, he can't really do much from the sideline except put us in situations to win uh, when they present it to him. So uh, we, we respect him for, for throwing the cards on the table and, and taking those chances. Just the only talk about the difference in the, in the second half in the first half. I mean, you got 17 to 3 at halftime. You look kind of dead in the water and it's just a totally different story. Yeah, um, got, got some momentum going. Uh, we put some drives together. Uh, and we, we put a couple drives together in the first half. We moved the ball. We were just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot with uh, some of the pre snap penalties and things like that. Um, the top block is huge. And, we were right back in the ball. Was there anything different of what you were seeing or adjustments in the second half or how you executed? Not really. They, they, they were in the same looks at us. Um, uh, we made some adjustments at halftime to, to game plan against them. And, and frankly, we, we went out and executed better than we did in the first half. How confident were you that those fourth down before, in particular, that pitch to Neil and then the pass to Bryce? Um, I mean, you have to be confident to, to make them work. So uh, going out there, we knew we were fighting for one yard, and that's all we needed. So uh, guys up front had a great push um, for both the inside run and, and the, the toss up the back. So uh, credit to them and credit to Rajon as well. Does you feel like you took some strides in the second half with your with your own team? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy to have gotten a rhythm. Um, Converge some third downs in the passing game. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it hurts to lose, but you kind of have to look at the positive sometimes. Does it feel any better? Because, I mean, as a quarterback, you probably get more criticism than you maybe deserve. Does it feel better to kind of go out there and play well like that and kind of lead your team, you know, in a position to have a chance to win? Yeah, and um, all the guys are looking at me and, and looking to me to lead them, uh, manage the offense, and uh, we, we stress ball security. And, <clears throat> playing with our habits this week, and, and I thought uh, myself as well as the offense did a great job with that. That's one of the things that you personally showed you know, as well as the team, you know, the mental and physical toughness that you want today. Uh, I mean, we never gave up. We were down 17 3 and could have easily, it could have been 24 or 31 3, um, just like that. They've got a really good offense, our defense really stepped up and, and uh, had some key stops, and, and then we. we Capitalize on uh, on our defensive uh, momentum that they were giving us. So uh, we, we never gave up. We fought until the very last play. So uh, I think you have to uh, look at that uh, as an outsider say this team's doing something. Justin, you talked about the rhythm. Do you feel like this is a close to the legitimate rhythm you've had all year long? And of course, stepping up in the pocket and stepping really good in the pass? Yeah, I mean, uh, Credit to the to the wideouts. Uh, they knew they had a big test coming into this game, uh, nationally televised, all eyes on you, basically uh, mindset. So they, they did a great job getting open, um, getting me some throwing lanes, getting separation from the defense, and um, a lot of it was just pitch and catch for us. And, and it was good to to finally get that rolling. Just you guys used Big Howard the most that you have in a game this year. Was that part of the game plan? Or with early success and he kept going to uh, I think it was a mixture of both. Um, he's a dynamic player and it's always uh, you never know what's gonna happen with the ball's in his hands. So uh, I think we had some early success with them. We also knew we wanted to get the ball early uh, in the game. And I think that's why we just kept coming back to him. What did you say to him after that play that play was reversed? Uh, I, I just talked to him in the locker room. Um, he, he's beating himself up right now, but uh, we still, we're only halfway through the season. He can't let that affect uh, anything else he's doing because he, he's, he's played phenomenal for us in the past few weeks. So uh, we always use the term snap and clear, and you know, there's an example. Just to keep up with what's going on the race on today, with Marlon not able to go, obviously, you're going to have to count on the lawn, it seemed like, especially in the second half. Yeah, Rajon, uh, we preach consistency in our program, and he's, he's brought it to the table each and every week. Um, and coming off a, a, a 
feels his career best, 169 that he had last week to, to this week to break open that big run on fourth and one and uh, some of the swing pass we through to him and being able to, to get the ball in space in his hands. Um, he, he really provides a, a steady, steady go to guy. I know you're not doctor, but I mean, how close to 100% is he? I know he's kind of banged up this week, maybe didn't do a lot of contact. Uh, you kind of seen the effects of these. Uh, I don't think so. I think he came out and, and, and played well. And uh, I don't think he, even if he was hurt, he wasn't going to let it bother him. But Justin, I'm not playing with the pitting there. When you saw, did you get a chance to look up at the, at the jumbo trying to see the replay? And did, did you think it was out when you looked up? It looked like some of the guys on the team kind of were, saw it and kind of knew. Uh, I, I was kind of on the goal line across, probably the opposite hash. And, I had a good look at, at him diving at it, and I thought there might be a possibility of balling out. I was hoping and praying it didn't, but um, <clears throat> situations happen. Justin, you took a couple of shots this morning, but more in the first couple of games down deep in the opponent's territory, and now he finally got his first touchdown. Can you talk about his growth and what you've seen out of him? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a freshman. He's a young guy, but he's willing to work, and uh, both myself, Coach Z, Coach Shake, uh, we all have tremendous faith and, and confidence in him. Um, he's progressed, uh, as all of our receivers have from even the first day of fall camp to now. And, and our rhythm, timing, well, everything has, has progressed. So uh, it's good to, to finally kind of break him into that now. And uh, hopefully we can progress even more. All right, Justin, thank you. We'll take questions.